Well, as you may have heard, uh, Mixer is planning to shut down in about 20 days. By the time I record this and upload this to YouTube, it will be 19 days. Microsoft is closing its Mixer service on July 22nd and plans to move existing partners over to Facebook Gaming. The surprise announcement means Mixer partners and streamers will be trans transitioned to Facebook Gaming starting today. And Mix Microsoft will no longer operate Mixer as a service, as a service in months time. In a month's time, Microsoft has struggled to reach the scale needed for Mixer to compete with Twitch, YouTube, and even Facebook Gaming, which has led to today's decision. We started pretty far behind in terms of where Mixer's monthly active users were compared to some of the big players out there, said, says Philip Spencer, Microsoft's head of gaming. In an interview with The Verge, I think the Mixer community is really going to benefit from the broad audience that Facebook has through their properties and the abilities to reach gamers in a very seamless way through the social platform Facebook has. Mixer is partnering with Facebook to transition existing Mixer viewers and streamers over to Facebook Gaming in the coming weeks. On July 22nd, um, all Mixer streamers, Mixer sites and apps will automatically re redirect to Facebook Gaming. Existing Mixer partners will be granted partner status with Facebook Gaming. Yet any streamer using the Mixer monetization program will be granted for eligibility for Facebook's level up program. Mixer viewers live outstanding Embler balances, channel subscriptions, or Mixer Pro subscriptions or Mixer Pro subscriptions will receive Xbox gift card credit. Microsoft's choice to partner with Facebook Gaming is clearly a strategic one that's also related to broadening the appeal of its upcoming xCloud game streaming service and its overall gaming efforts. Microsoft will work closely with Facebook Gaming to bring xCloud to Facebook Gaming, allowing viewers to click and immediately play games that people are streaming. It's a vision that's very similar to Google's ambitions of Stadia. The mixer has lacked the scale and viewership to truly deliver to this more broadly. Mixer recruited exclusive streamers like Ninja and Stroud with big deals, but they haven't been enough to get more people using this service over Rivals. Ninja and Stroud and other top streamers are now free to rejoin Twitch or stream on Facebook Gaming. Microsoft faced a decision between ditching Mixer, selling it off, or even investing more money in without a guarantee it would hit the scale it needed to compete. It wasn't as much about return on sell, it was about finding a partnership that was best, the best things for community and streamers exclaimed Spencer we think this is it and it gives us a great place to launch more 
xCloud content and give gamers the ability to play from there. Microsoft has talked about reaching to billing gamers with its vision for xCloud, but Mixer wasn't in a strong enough position to help achieve that goal. When we think about xCloud and the opportunity to unlock gameplay for 2 billion players, we know it's going to be critically important that our services find large audiences and Facebook clearly gives us that opportunity, Sensor. It's not clear exactly when we will see xCloud shut up in Facebook Gaming, but it's a key part of this new partnership. Microsoft is getting ready to launch xCloud streaming generally later this year as part of the company's Xbox Game Pass offering. I don't think we're going to have to wait too long to see the outcome of the collaboration between two the two companies to enable this type of Facebook Gaming and viewers. Reveal sensor. We've seen Microsoft give up on services in the past, like Groove Music and partnered with Spotify. But that partnership wasn't exactly super close or meaningful to end users. Spencer sees this as the beginning of opportunities around gaming with Microsoft and Facebook. And the teams are physically actually close to each other. We've been to each other's offices, says Center. You'll see us continuing to grow this relationship. This would be the beginning of us seeing future opportunity together. I think we have a lot of alignment between the organizations on areas where the industry is going and how we can help each other. Microsoft will now keep hold of the technology that has found Mixer and supported collaborative and low latency stream features. Microsoft Teams will start to use part of this Mixer technology in the future to improve real time interactivity and low latency streaming. And the Mixer developers involved in this time will remain at Microsoft to help with the work on Teams. Applying these fan centric capabilities to new productivity experiences will create emerge ways for teams to empower people, teams, and organizations to better engage in virtual gatherings at work in schools. I know that some people have a problem with Facebook these days, but at the end of the day, Microsoft made the right choice and they're going to stick to that with that so just a reminder it'll be 19 days by the time I uploaded this that mixer will be shutting down so keep your eye out on that